play Spire and duplicate. Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Today we're going to be talking about a project that I've been working on called PyBiosis. This project allows me to automate certain aspects of the Windows operating system, so things like the monitor displays and so on, and it also lets me automate some other tasks through the Python programming language. I've hooked it up to devices like the Elgato Stream Deck, so with a click of a button I can execute those Python functions and I've also hooked it up to services like Google Assistant so I can use a voice command again to execute those Python functions. So let me take you through an example. Here in my Stream Deck I have a couple folders of various buttons and each folder holds different functions. For example, I can go into games and I often play games with my girlfriend and I duplicate the screen so that both of us can see the same game if it's a single player game for example. This makes it really easy to use for someone who's not too familiar with Windows, which is a nice feature. The way that it works under the hood for the Stream Deck integration is that it, the code will override the JSON files that the Stream Deck uses in the background so that it will execute these arbitrary Python functions. So here, every time this button is pressed, it's going to call this function from this particular module and that's going to get executed, which is going to automate some sort of task for me. In the code, you might also notice these Google decorators, and these are for allowing voice commands to trigger the same Python function. So this means that I can use either the Stream Deck or the Google Assistant to launch this function on my computer. So for example, if we were done playing a game, I can say Google reset monitors, and it's going to reset those monitors. For the Google Assistant part, it takes advantage of a program called Push to Run, which is a really helpful Windows program that I highly recommend if you're interested in automating Google and your computer. So that's a pretty brief overview of the project. It's still in development, but that's, a, I think, a nice milestone to show you where it is. It's already been really helpful for a lot of the functions that I do, so I also use this not just for games, but also to automate certain work functions where automating the, the interface by using something like PyAutoGUI, which allows me to automate the keyboard and the mouse, which is really helpful for certain tasks. So let me know what you think, or if you have any ideas, I'd be happy to hear them. Thank you for watching. Bye. Toggle all, all of the lights. Got it. Turning 13 lights on. Hey, Google. On PC, Luke. Okay, I told your computer to look. Hey, Google. Toggle all of the lights. Okay, turning 13 lights hey, on. Hey, Google. On PC, Luke. Okay, I told your computer hey, to Hey Google, loop. toggle all of the lights. Sure, turning 13 lights on. Hey Google, on PC, loop. Okay, I told your computer to Hey loop. Google, toggle all of the lights. Got it, turning 13 lights off. Hey Google, on PC, loop. Okay, I told your computer to loop. Hey Google. Toggle all of the lights. Okay, turning 13 lights on. Hey Google.